Hello friends, I'm Johan Gladsen and welcome back to my channel Joe's Learn. Today we are going to talk about place value and face value. In my previous video, I have talked about digits and place. If you didn't watch that video, I will put the link in the description box so that you can watch it. So, let's get started. So, any number which is in the 1's place, its place value 
will always be that number itself. And zero, whichever position it is in that number, its place value will always be zero. One should always remember these important things. Now let me tell you one easy trick to identify how much zeros are there after that number. So perhaps we can take this number, one. Now for finding out how much zeros are there, we just need to count how much numbers are there after one. That is one, two, three and four. So we have to put four zeros after one. So to write the base value of five, it will be five lakh, right? Now to how many zeros we have to write, it's like this. One, two, three, four and five. So if you put five zeros after five, so we easily get the place value of any digit in the number. Now let's move on to face value. So what is face value? Face value of a digit is the digit itself. Let me make this clear with an example from everyday life. Just imagine you and your friend Ned have moved to a new school and you have just entered the classroom in which you are. You can see many students sitting there waiting for their teacher and you want to sit right next to Ned. So how do you identify which of those students is Ned? By looking at his face of course. In that same way, you can identify a digit by looking at his face. Hence the name face value. And so you can identify any digit just by looking at his face. Now let me make this clear with some examples with numbers. Let us take a look at the first example that is 83201. In this example, which number is in the ones place? 1 is in the ones place, right? So what is the face value of 1? The face value of 1 will be 1 because the face value of a digit will be the digit itself. And in that same way, the face value of the other digits which are in this number will be just the same digit because face value of a digit is the digit itself. Now let's move on to my next example that is 4,93,251. In this example, which number is in the 1's place? 1 is in the 1's place. So 1's face value will be 1 because the face value of a digit is the digit itself. Now let's move on to the 10's place. 5 is in the 10's place. So 5's place value will be 5 itself. Now let's move on to the 100's place. 2 is in the 100's place. So 2's face value will be 2 itself. Now let's move on to the thousand space. Three is in the thousand space. So three's face value will be three itself. Now let's move on to the ten thousand space. Now nine. nine is in the ten thousand space. So nine's face value will be nine itself. Now let's move on to lakh space. Four is in the lakh space. So four's face value will be four itself. One important thing to know is that. The face value of a digit does not depend on which place it is. It just depends on which number it is. Just as 1, it does not depend if it's in one space or in the 10,000th space. It just depends on which number it is. And so 1 is 1. So 1's face value will be 1 itself. Now we have learned what is place value and face value. I hope you understood this concept. If you did subscribe to my channel, please subscribe now. And also enable the bell icon to get notifications on my latest videos. Bye friends! Thank you for watching. I'll be coming next time with a more interesting